Oh, hello. How are you guys doing today? I am putting the finishing touches in the home tour here at our house. And I cannot wait for you guys to see I'm finishing a Christmas tree that is going to be here in our dining room. So I have gathered five tips on how to decorate a Christmas tree that have helped me create beautiful Christmas trees. So I want to share those five tips with you. Um, it's going to be a super short video, but I think you're going to learn. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with a friend. If you are excited for the home tour, be sure to come back. It's almost here and I think that you're going to really enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, everyone, to create these fabulous ornament clusters, what you're going to need is a variety of sizes of ornaments. I've chosen some glitter ones, some shiny ones, and some matte ones. And then also I've chosen different sizes on ornaments. As you guys can see, I have four different sizes. And then what you're going to need is wire cutters to cut your wire. Already, like I told you before, I have my wires pre-cut. So I wanna go ahead and get one. This is about, probably about seven inches. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your first ornament through. Then you're going to bend it right here and you might want to twist it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we put all of our ornaments in varying sizes. You don't want all of the sizes at the same time because then it will not look like a cluster. Think of it when grapes grow in a vineyard, not all of the grapes are the same size. And that's what makes them look really, really unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the last one right here. And I'm going to add this tiny little one at the end. All right, so I have this cluster, kind of looks like a grape. Now here's what you want a longer wire, because what you want to do is you want to pre-make other ones. And to make it longer, what you need to do is just twist this wire together like this. And then you grab another one and you continue to go up like this. And you just grab another one and you continue to go up like this. And we're going to grab the last one and I'm going to put it right here. And I would use this wire right here to attach to my tree. As you guys can see, I left enough wire. And you have this massive cluster of ornaments that you can use as an ornament in your Christmas tree. And it's going to add so much character. So then I also show you how to make these clusters and I have made some of these gold clusters right here. And what I want to do with this, look how I'm going to stick my hand up here. I want to go ahead and stick my hand because I want to pull. And then with that pipe cleaner, you just secure it into one of the bristles. And that is another secret I can give you. You don't want to have it just out here. You want to make sure that look, you stick your hand in here as far as you can and then you pull on it and that way it goes in to the tree and it gives you a cluster inside of the tree. And I have done many of these ones before. You guys have seen them on my reeds. You have seen them on my fireplaces. I think you even see them on my uh, centerpieces. And it is prep work, what I call it, but you know what? It really, look how fast and easy it makes your job. Once we have our black and white ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in. Actually, I'm going to put the snowman in. He's going to be our focal point. So I'm going to select an area where I want it to be, and I'm going to go ahead and bury him in as far in as I can. And by using this little twine or rope that it comes in, I'm just going to go ahead and attach one of the branches and twist it, and that will hold it in place. And then what you can do is pull some of these guys right here like this. And then pull another one right here, like this. And just go ahead and give him a little bend and that'll support that snowman and it's not going anywhere. All right, so now that I have my focal point on my tree, I can decorate around it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a few of them. Uh, after I add the ornaments, we'll go back and add them. But I just wanted to show you that now we're going to add some of these dollar store big plaques and we're going to use this as ornaments. So the first one, I want it to be more of a focal point. So I'm going to bring this guy and add it right here. And I already went ahead and took the ribbon that comes in here 
and I added a little wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna first find a place for him, kind of squish him in a little bit, and then I'm gonna grab this wire that I added, and I'm going to attach it to one of the bristles, really softly, so that way you don't lose the wire for when you have to take it down. And look at that, that serves as a focal point and a big ornament. So now that I have the focal point right here, I'm gonna move over to this side and I'm gonna look for a bristle and attach this wire real quick. Once you attach your wire, you can always go back and like place them exactly where you want it to be. And so now that I have one on that side, I'm gonna go ahead and come over to this side and I'm going to add this guy over here. And I'm gonna attach Find the height where I want it, and then you attach. Then you make sure that he sits flat, whatever it is that you want him. Look at that. So now we have these three big ornaments. But the very first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my, uh, my ornament garland that I showed you guys how to make last year. And also I showed you this on, here it is, on our mental video. If you guys haven't seen how I made this garland of ornaments, I'm gonna link it up right now on the top of the screen so you can go ahead and watch it. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy just go like this. And what that's gonna do is just gonna go ahead and give us a little bit of uh, ornament texture. So I love the way this is looking. However, um, I did show you how to make these ornament garlands and here's a gold version of it. If you guys haven't seen the video on how to make these garlands, I'm gonna link it up. It's super easy and you can just do it with all leftover ornaments. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna grab one of my bristles and I'm gonna give it a twist. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna push in as far as I can right here. I'm gonna grab one of the bristles and just basically twist it in. And I'm gonna go over here and you can make these garlands as long as you want. You can make as many as you want. It is a super fun project and look, it really gives you a lot of real estate. All right, you guys, so I wanna give you a really quick tip to add candles to your tree. I wanted to add some of these flameless candles, so what I did is I went ahead and wrapped a thinner wire into my LED candle. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under, and if you have a helper, it really does help right now, but go under like this, and then you wanna go ahead and tie a knot right here, holding your candle in place like this. And then you might wanna do a little bow just to finish it off cute bow and fluff your little bow like this you can go ahead and use that wire to really fluff this bow and if you want to go ahead and just do something fun with a wire right here like that and then all you need is your remote control to turn your candle on and look at that you have a cute little candle on your tree Okay everyone, so to decorate this beautiful Christmas tree on a glam blue and white theme, you're gonna follow a few steps. And the very first one is, I wanna, I wanna explain something real quick. This particular Christmas tree right here that you guys see, that is very bushy and it has no arms, is basically just the shape of the tree um, is to be designed on. This is not for you to hang ornaments. The bristles doesn't hold any weight on them. 
So this is just like a, uh, a wreath or a swag. It's just meant to be designed on. I've been asked a lot, Ramon, where is the tree? Well, just so you know, this particular type of trees are to be designed on and not to hang ornaments from the branches because they, they can hang on them. So think of this specific, specific Christmas tree style, like a wreath form or like a swag. Now that that's said, since we're gonna design on it, I want to explain that because it is a green Christmas tree, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a flocking job on it. I say flocking. <laughs> and so what I do is I basically start at the bottom, you guys saw in the last video, and I'm gonna add some branches that are flocked. And for that, I have a box of flocked picks right here, and I'm gonna get them out right here, and I'm gonna start moving up. So basically what you wanna do is give them a curvature right here, and then you insert, and then you fold one of the tips of the tree up so it'll stay in shape. And you wanna follow the shape of the tree. You guys see that this is longer, then it gradually gets smaller as it goes up. And then also you want to go ahead and go all the way around. If your tree is going to be seen on the back, then I recommend you go all the way to the back. But because this tree literally sits flat against the wall, then there is no need to really design the back of it. But if your tree is going to be in your home, in a place where well, it's gonna be seen, it's like you wouldn't just brush your hair on the front, you would also brush it in the back, right? Well, you wanna do the same with your Christmas tree. You wanna make sure that it's done all the way around. And as you guys can see, this is really changing the look of the tree. I'm gonna continue to go up. As you go up, just make sure that you insert going up so they fly away. I'm gonna do one right here. I'm gonna grab them all. I'm gonna come back over on this side like this. Then once I get to the top, if you guys can see, I'm gonna do some just standing up like this. So they fly up and then I feel like I need another one right here. So those are all the flat seeders that I have. Then I'm going to add some of these bushes and this is also another type of cedar and I'm gonna add this in more prominent spaces to really cover some of that tree. As you guys can see, it's changing the look of this tree. And we're going from having a green tree to having more of a flock tree or a snow tree. And this is something that you might want to do if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Because I'm always telling you guys to collect this type of pick. Because not only you can use it on your reeds and on your uh, swags, but then look, you can change the look of your tree by adding some of these picks right here. And the reason why I wanted to add some flocking is because the navy blue that we're using, it's more of a darker hue. So therefore it's going to show better in this particular type of treatment.